Many Cape Tonians will pass waterways each and every day but never notice the warning signs. Several rivers and streams are in a dire state, clogged with invasive plants which threaten these aquatic ecosystems. Now the city of Cape Town is waging war on these invaders. This week it launched a river cleaning program. As its invasive species unit warns, if left unchecked, the long-term consequences could be great. They will continue growing and they cause, there are two problems, two main problems. The one is fire hazard for residents and then the biodiversity risk. Um, if it, it, these plants just grow and they outcompete indigenous species um, and then there's no chance for the phonemals to, to be in an area where it's um, invaded. As well as boosting funding for the unit, the project, dedicated to the late former Water Affairs Minister Kada Asmal, will also create hundreds of jobs. Um, and this project has a twofold focus. The one is to alleviate prop poverty and the other is to reduce the um, invasive plants in uh, waterways and to improve water quality. The project extends from water catchment areas and riverbanks to small streams threatened by invasive plants such as watercress, parrot's feather and water hyacinth. It's back-breaking work as small plants are painstakingly weeded out one by one. In other areas, pollution poses an enormous health risk to human inhabitants. The project runs for three years, after which the unit expects to see a drastic change. You can expect to see um, clear, uh, clean waterways, no rubbish, no invasive plants, and um, improved aquatic uh, freshwater ecosystem, improved water quality. The next challenge will be keeping the rivers clean and driving home the importance of healthy waterways. Aletta Gardner, Eyewitness News, Cape Town.